Hi, I'm Dr. Scholz. I'm a medical oncologist specializing exclusively in prostate cancer. And a common question I get is, is one type of hormone therapy better than another? The answer would be actually yes, uh, but it depends on your situation. In men that have relatively mild situations with their prostate cancer, or perhaps if they're elderly, uh, a medicine called Casadex, an antiandrogen, has a lot fewer side effects but it's still pretty potent. It's not quite as potent as the standard thing they call hormone therapy, which are the Lupron or Lupron-related drugs. So a milder oral agent like Casadex is a very logical consideration in someone that has, a, a, a say, a, a basic teal or someone that's elderly or perhaps has some impaired health and can't think about going on stronger uh, therapy. And another question that comes up is, well, if Casadex is relatively mild, can we add it to the Lupron. And oftentimes this is done to avoid the flare of testosterone that occurs in the first couple of weeks with Lupron. But for historical reasons, oftentimes the Casadex gets stopped, even though it doesn't add a lot of additional side effects. And the history behind it is mostly uh, rooted in finances. The uh, Casadex, when it first came out, was very, very expensive. And so the powers that be decided that the addition of the Casadex only giving a small benefit beyond the Lupron wasn't justified because of the high price. Well, things have changed. Now you can get bicalutamide, generic Casadex, very inexpensively. And it is, since it is so well tolerated, uh, I, I believe that if a person is trying to get a maximum anti-cancer effect out of their hormone therapy, that they should stay on the Casadex throughout the time that they're on the Lupron. So the combination of Casadex and Lupron is a little bit more potent than Lupron alone, and it doesn't really contribute much of any additional side effects as long as people are professionally managed. There's a third level of hormonal therapy, uh, which most people have heard about, uh, where uh, agents such as Zytiga or Erlita or Extandi uh, can block testosterone function within the cancer cell. In selective cases, it is appropriate to think about adding these one of these agents, uh, not a combination, but one of these agents to Lupron. And this will enhance the anti-cancer effects further. Now these agents typically are also well tolerated and one could ask why not, why aren't they used routinely? And the answer is, as was the case with Casadex many years ago, is that they're very, very expensive. So there's a trade-off in terms of uh, achieving a small incremental improvement in cure rates, perhaps, by the addition of, of Erlita Extandi or Zytiga, but at a very, very substantial price. So this, of course, will have to be discussed on an individual basis uh, w between a doctor and a patient in terms of what the priority should be.